Hey guys, what's happening? Falling Rock here. I just want to put out a quick video giving you a tutorial on prepping with a wizard. Uh, something that previously I've kind of said uh, I think they can do it, um, but I wasn't sure how to do it. Uh, and so uh, a lot of people that maybe only have a wizard or were curious on how wizards work would find this interesting. I actually was a lot very surprised at how effective uh, of a build I found here. Um, and it's not perfected by any means, but it was a lot more effective than what I found. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'll go over the skills and some of the gear choices that I made first, and then I'll kind of just give you an example. I'm not going to go through any sort of a premiere prep. Um, just give you an example in like the weeping or something. Um, if you're interested on more advanced as far as how to prep and, and get all the crypts and stuff going, you can check out one of my other videos that I've posted right at the bottom here that you can check out. But let's go over the skills. Um, I've chosen diamond skin, pretty obvious, and uh, the way it works um, in this build, uh, you're able to keep up diamond skin almost 100% of the time. It's actually really, really, really effective. Uh, so get diamond skin with crystal shell uh, for the increased absorption. Uh, this is the one skill that I think that could be transitioned out. Um, I'm using it in the situations where maybe you're out of arcane power for whatever reason, or you sort of need a directional spell. Um, so let's say I have like a witch over here, and your main spell is going to be the energy twister. So it kind of is slow moving and, and can move towards stuff, but it, it zooms around and you can't get the aggro of something that like is just one in the corner. So I picked this up just so you can shoot at it. It doesn't take any arcane power to, to cast, and it, it works pretty well. Um, I don't think it's as good as the energy twister for your main ability, but it does work pretty well. Um, and then the living lightning uh, makes it travel just the way it is now. Uh, your energy twister, I, I'm using raging storm. I think that you could also use um, the reduced casting cost. Uh, I think both would work fine. I liked the, the idea when it, when it collides that it, it grows. Um, it's pretty effective and I didn't find myself having arcane problems. But if you do, the uh, mistral breeze works fine as well. So, um, and then I was using Ice Armor um, with Crystallize, and it increases your armor by 60% when at full stacks, which it's very easy to get full stacks. I can get up to a little over 10k armor. I think uh, 10,300 is what I'm at with it on, so it's pretty powerful. Um, and then Spectral Blade, again, this was an ability where I wanted my left click to not cast my wand. If I was just to put move there, I would cast my wand. So. And you kind of need to use a wand so that you can um, get the arcane power on crit. Um, so Spectral Blade just makes it so if while moving I accidentally click on something, I'm not going to shoot a wand or an ability at it. I would have to be in melee range to use an ability rather than move there. Um, so it, it works pretty well. I like the way it's working. It doesn't I, The healing blade's not effective. Um, just whatever. Um, and then teleport with wormhole. And same thing with... Um, with your diamond skin the teleport ends up being uh, available quite often so and then for the passives I have blur decreased melee damage taken fairly self-explanatory gallivanting win is one that I didn't really have any other options um, life regen per second it's nice it's pretty big um, but it's not necessary if you think you can find one that's more beneficial um, by all means maybe something like illusionist would work um, but I didn't find anything astronomical, so I, I just stuck with that. And then critical mass, pretty important for the build. Um, so as far as the gear goes, the Chantoto's will works pretty well with this. Uh, higher attack speed and critical hit chance, similar to like a CM wizard, are, are good. Um, and you want the life on hit. If you can get something that attacks decently fast, has crit, uh, arcane power on crit, and life on hit on another one, that's fine. I paid maybe 400k for this wand, and it works very well. Um, and the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, protection stuff, very similar to anything else you may get. I use a storm shield as well on this. I had, I had fooled around with the Oculus when I first started doing this build. Um, it gives you the critical hit chance, and I really like the fact that it reduced the cooldown of teleport. But you'll find that with this build, um, you don't really need that reduced cooldown. Um, it was nice, but the, the way I've changed it into what it is now works a lot better, and the storm shield actually works really well. Uh, there was a big difference going from Witch Doctor to Wizard as far as my protection, so I liked using the Storm Shield. Uh, two rings, life on hit, critical hit chance, attack speed, um, attack speed, critical hit chance, life on hit, um, you know, physical resistance again in this one, strength, all good things. Um, and the rest, you know, f you know, s standard stuff to any build. Your Blackthorn's two-piece. Um, I could switch and get some attack speed on this as well. Um, 
attack speed isn't super super important a certain amount of a certain amount of critical hit chance is kind of important but i'm not even very high 29 percent and you'll see how well it works even with this and then i just crafted some vitality pieces um nothing crazy but i just went with what i had and then the helmet all i looked for for the, i mean i looked for vit i looked for armor i looked for open sockets stuff like that but the arcane power on crit was what i wanted you kind of need two pieces the weapon is the helm is what i'm using i'd say between 18 to 20 arcane power on crit is what you're looking at so again if you were to use a um that's another thing that your offhand can offer offer you the oculus had uh 10 arcane power on crit i didn't need that much which allows me to use the storm shield um, so that's what i have set up as far as gear um i'll, I'll show you kind of how it works here we'll go into the weeping and, and get a, a look just activate your ice armor and you're all set it works kind of similar to the way witch doctor does almost and where the more mobs that are there obviously the more stuff you can uh life steal off or life on head off um so the you know you may find a little bit more trouble trying to survive off a few mobs like i can't get as much um arcane power in the beginning because i don't have as much stuff to hit but um, you'll still find that, you know, a lot of your stuff is still readily, uh, you know, even hitting this much stuff, my stuff, my, my cooldowns, my teleport, my diamond skin are readily available. Um, I'm not having too many problems with my um, arcane power as far as, you know, critting on stuff, hitting enough stuff. Um, it works really well. Uh, and you'll see, like, you look at that, diamond skin's already up again, already up again. Teleport, already up again. Um, very impressed by the way it turned out. Um, you can see, like, the amount of damage that I'm taking is so minimal. Um, it's even in comparison to like my uh, my witch doctor. It, it almost feels like less, especially because you can spam diamond skin for the absorption. Um, so yeah, I, I was very impressed by the way that this worked. But you can you know you can kind of understand the idea. Um, at one point, basically all of your movement is going to be coming from your teleport. Already up again, I can teleport. Um, spam a couple, get your diamond skin up, let it crit, teleport. Um, so even things like in, in other builds, I will suggest things like a, uh, a compass rose for the movement speed. You don't even need it. Um, most of your movement you're going to find is going to come from just TPing around. You can kind of, you know, TP, spam a couple, get up your crits, and then teleport again. Um, and, and do the same thing. So it worked really well. It worked a lot better than I expected. And again, there's still things that could be tempered with, I think. I think, you know, you didn't even see me cast Shock Pulse there. I think you could find something else that would work there. Um, I've seen a few other variations of this build. Um, one of them involved being able to... Um, being able to spam Wave Force um, and keeping everything away from you. So he would go in here like this and just... Um, bounce everything away from them and be able to basically just keep stuff away from them at all times. Um, kind of interesting. It was kind of interesting. I didn't find that I had problems with survivability, but I think that if you were having problems, it would uh, it would prove to be extremely beneficial to use something like that. Um, you can kind of keep everything away from you all the time. Obviously, this waller isn't um, doing me much justice, but that was an interesting change. If you have something, you know, to, to comment on or you think there's something that could be changed, feel free to leave a comment. Um, it's, you know, I fooled around with it for a day, really, just to figure out if I could find something that would, would work. And I found this, and it worked a lot better than I expected. But I think there's still room for improvement. Um, and if you have any improvement uh, ideas, feel free to leave a comment. Or if you would like to do it in person with me, maybe Curiecraft the Wizard or something else, feel free to stop by the stream. We're always running crypts there. Always trying to figure out the next best thing to do, um, a more efficient way of doing things. Uh, Twitch.tv slash AFallingRock. And again, if you, you're curious on some other classes on how to prep, or the full prepping of a crypt, I'll leave the info in the bottom of the stream and you can check that out too. So um, anyway, that's my wizard guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to uh, like the video and, and subscribe. Uh, I, you know, I'm trying to put out as many videos as I can, uh, getting into this uh, crypt stuff and hopefully leading into Reaper of Souls. So um, again, thanks for watching and take care.